Welcome to this new episode of 5 Minutes Go Lang. In this episode, we will briefly answer a question one of our community members asked, which is better, Go or Rust? To answer this question, we will explore different aspects such as the community, performance, productivity, and more. By the end, we will attempt to provide a practical answer. Before starting, if you want to support us, join our channel and share this episode on your social media. This will be helpful. Also, don't forget to join us by visiting fawn.dev slash join. First of all, let's talk about the market. Rust has been gaining popularity in recent years, particularly in WebAssembly and system programming. Firecracker, the technology powering AWS Lambda, is a great example of projects using Rust. Go, on the other hand, is widely used for web development and cloud-native applications. Kubernetes, for instance, is using Golang. Which market is bigger? At the moment, Golang has a bigger market and as a Golang developer, you have more chances to find jobs. However, Rust is growing quickly. The second aspect we're covering is performance. Performance-wise, both languages are known for their speed and efficiency. Rust excels in performance-critical applications, while Go is generally considered a more lightweight option. Let's move to compare productivity. When it comes to productivity, Go is often seen as the more straightforward option. Its simple syntax and built-in concurrency features make it effortless to write and maintain code. Rust, however, has a steeper learning curve, but its strong focus on safety and reliability can make it a perfect choice for large and complex projects. Another important aspect we're covering is the safety of each programming language. Rust has a strong focus on memory safety and thread safety, making it a good choice for the low-level systems programming. On the other hand, Go has a more relaxed approach to memory management, but it still has built-in mechanisms for preventing common errors. Community is one of the most critical aspects developers consider when choosing a programming language. Rust has a large and active community, with plenty of resources and libraries available. Go also has a strong community and ecosystem, with a focus on simplicity and ease of use. To judge the popularity of a community, we can base ourselves on the number of pull requests in GitHub. In this case, the Golang community is nine times more active than Rust. Rust community is also smaller in size in comparison to the Go community. Finally, we'll talk about simplicity and accessibility to newcomers. Go is known for its simple syntax and straightforward approach to concurrency, making it easier to learn, write, and maintain. Rust, on the other hand, is more complex, but its strong focus on safety makes it a better choice for large and complex projects. So, which one is better? Basically, the answer to this type of question is usually it depends. A better question to ask is when to use this or that technology. In reality, this depends on your specific use case and what you're looking for in a programming language. If you're working on a performance critical application, Rust is the go-to choice. If you're looking for a simpler and easier to learn language for web dev or network programming, Go is a better fit. This does not mean that Rust cannot do web development, nor does it mean that Golang cannot be used for performance critical applications. Let's conclude. When it comes to becoming a developer, if you're looking for a career in low-level systems programming, Rust may be the better choice. If you're interested in web development, cloud-native applications, and network programming, becoming a Go developer might be a more suitable option. That was another episode of 5 Minutes Golang. See you tomorrow.